One of my toxic traits is that if I see something even semi-vampire related, I will purchase it. Um, so that leads me to this shirt, which I was very excited to get in the mail. Um, and then I put it on, and I had a very uh, slight suspicion that perhaps this was referencing booty calls. And if it is, I don't want a single one of you to confirm that for my ace ass. Okay, this is about vampires. It's about vampires. <laughs> and I had to put it on for today because we are watching What We Do in the Shadows, a vampire movie that has been on my list for a while because I've heard really, really great things about it. This feels like it's regarded as a vampire classic. I really hope it goes the interview with the vampire show route where it balances the camp and the seriousness and just the fun but also the drama of it all really well. I feel like knowing Taika is behind this makes me feel like it probably will be pretty campy in a good way. So I'm really, really hopeful. I'm really hopeful. I hope, I hope this is fun. I hope this is a good time. I hope this shirt isn't about booty calls. That's just, you know, the vibe. Anyways, I am very excited to watch this. So, if y'all are ready to watch what we do in the shadows for the very first time with me, let's go. Alright y'all, I'm thinking some mood lighting. I guess the reds are kind of giving blood, but I'm leaning towards like this. Oh, okay. That sounds fun. Are we invited? No, no, but this is funny because like they're granted protection and you're like, okay, they're granted protection. We won't touch them but they also wore crucifixes. And just in case someone, you know, took back their protection. Hi. <laughs> Is that Taika? I'm fairly confident that's Taika. Yeah, that's Taika. Hey, buddy. That's an Oscar winner right there. So, now I'm going to wake up my flatmates. <laughs> I hope he gets the way he's talking in the fangs makes me feel like <laughs> it's a fake vampire. <laughs> and they've actually just pulled one on the documentary crew. <laughs> I don't know why. You're doing great, buddy. You know, there are some roommates we usually just let sleep. Pita, wake up. <laughs> Jesus. The skeletons. I don't know. Skeletons. You know, All right, okay. Peter, we can use our words. You have not done the dishes for five years. Vladislav is right. It's five unacceptable. Y'all let this go for five years? <laughs> Could not be me. Well. Actually, I'm pretty conflict averse. It might be me. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed when people come over here. Well, what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them! Well, it sets the atmosphere. Do you want them to be uncomfortable in their last moments or at ease? And we're still friends today. Oh, he made his own friends. I was known as Vladislav the Poker. To yourself and your friend group? Because history wrote you down to something else, buddy. If you're going to eat a victim on my nice green couch, put down some newspaper on the floor and some towels. It's not hard to do. We're vampires. We don't put down towels. Okay, then don't do it on the green couch. Like, you gotta pick and choose here, but I think we should respect the fact that he wants his green couch to remain green. Effective communication, man. It's important. I was a Nazi vampire. Oh, oh no. It's time for the inhuman race. The song mentioning the inhuman race. <laughs> and y'all think I'm not gonna be thinking about Daisy? I don't know. You're down and I'm down. convinced Taika was in a thrift store and found those 2002 New Year's glasses and said, you know what? I wanna buy these and write them off for taxes. So let's just make a movie. Yeah, I came to this country for love. The right reasons. And when I got here, she had found someone else. She was married. Damn, in 18 months? Don't tell me he's about to show us the wedding ring he kept that he was gonna propose with. Don't tell me. Say she is. Cute. Oh, dude, this is called self-harm. Take the necklace off. <laughs> Buddy, the love ain't worth it. Do you have a healing property? Yeah. It's about as long as I can wear that. Have you tried turtlenecks though? Like you're touching it with the gloves just fine. Just wear a turtleneck. Sorry, just hit me that Peter has a castle and y'all are here with Peter in the basement. Unless Peter was only a guest at the castle? Yeah, some of our clothes are yeah. from victims. You might bite someone and then you see, ooh, those are some nice pants. That order for me would be backwards. Okay, you see the person with the cute outfit and you think, ah yes, a shopping trip. 
I'm in love with this editing style. <laughs> They're gonna love YouTube fashion videos in a few years. Turns out more of us are living the vampire lifestyle than we thought. One of the most unfortunate things about being a vampire is Y'all that... just doing this out in public. Out in public. Bring them inside. You have to drink human blood. I know, that's the worst part. She is wondering why there's a documentary crew staring at her. Oh, and you were how old? Well, that didn't go so great. Why'd that go for um, me? I hit, hit the, the main artery. artery. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah, it's a real mess in there. You needed more towels. Same. This had no right being so funny. He suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of his arch nemesis, the Beast. Well, you know, Nicholas Holt is quite intimidating, so it makes sense. Do you like that, Nick? I yep. think it's it's pretty lively. If you were going to eat a sandwich, you would just enjoy it more if you knew no one had fucked it. Now, I'm not gonna argue with that logic because it's sound. Yeah, I am confused about how your brain is forming that metaphor, though. And I do think it's about time to close the blinds. Not that I'm afraid of the dark or nothing. Watching this vampire movie. Oh, oh. Goodness. We present our guest with a plate of biscotti. Yeah, have you considered if you stop doing that, you won't have to wash the dishes? You don't think this is weird? <laughs> the documentary crew, like, with their crucifix around their neck, like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's a little weird. What are the ethics of being a documentary crew? <laughs> Dude, you need a little more practice with the whole artery thing. He's, like, pretty calm. Like, he's not as scared as I would have thought. <laughs> oh, did he just pick Peter's room? Where am I? Yeah, I don't know if you want this room. This room might not be the best room. You might prefer what's upstairs. Oh, well I will give you some style points for that one. <laughs> Peter got in on the fun. Two months later. Hi, my name is Nick. Hey guys. I've doing? been a vampire for two months. Oh, it's you. Why don't you use the front door? Why would I? I'm flying. Can't argue with that. You can see the inside of my neck. I had blood all over my top. I can't believe he just went to the urgent care. That's priceless. It's priceless. I can smell what? werewolves. What? What? <gasps> We're just about to walk past some werewolves. So all right, we got Jacob coming in. Don't catch fleas. What's that, mate? Deacon. Rude. We don't smell our own crotches. We smell each other's crotches, and it's a form of greeting. Okay. You're on camera, yeah. mate. Don't, don't do it. What? <laughs> You're on camera, mate. Don't, don't say that out loud. <laughs> don't say it. Oh no. Count to 10, human again. 10, it's all right, it's not full moon. Like a little squad of werewolves just trying to like deep breathe their way through life. Why do I love it? <laughs> and the rest of New Zealand just thinks that it's a bunch of drunk guys coming back from the pub after watching some sporting event. Their cover seems a little bit friendlier to the general populace, not gonna lie. I'm sick, Philip. Philip, you can't wait for other people to live your life. You gotta just live it. Awkward. Movie Twilight. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay, I have. I'm the main guy Twilight. You know the main guy? The main guy Twilight? Uh huh. You got nothing on Edward Cullen. Nothing on Edward Cullen. Sorry. No offense. Twilight! Shut up, Nick! <laughs> You're not. Nick is me. <laughs> Just walking on the street, Twilight, yeah. I'm obsessed with the concept that Stephanie Meyer just exists in this universe. Y'all need some women in your group, or rather I'd love to be following the group of women who I'm sure also exist in this universe. Oh no, I wouldn't be dead. Why? Are you okay, Nick? That is a lesson I feel like you gotta learn for yourself. My favorite food, I can't eat chips. Your favorite food is chips? You know, they don't even wear shirts, they wear blouses. It's just this big homoerotic dick biting club and I'm stuck here ironing their fucking frills. Also clean the bathroom, please. She's gonna kill y'all. <laughs> this documentary crew is not getting paid enough. A friend has just been killed in a fatal sunlight accident. A fatal sunlight accident? What happened to your basement? I thought he was just in the basement. But rip Peter, of course. The vampire hunter. It's broken through the window Oh, here. there was a real vampire hunter. Okay, okay. That's because Nick keeps telling people. Has come through here and burnt Peter alive. 
That is really sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Can you imagine living for thousands of years and getting taken down by some random person in the 21st century? I saw him the other night in town. Told him I was a vampire. What? Nick, buddy, that's something you take to the grave in a thousand plus years. You, you don't say that. We're just responding to reports of a, um, a possible forced entry and also a rather large amount of shrieking. It's just a little domestic, you know? Let's kill them. No, because then- Well, let's just see what other safety points they have and then maybe we're clear. Vlad. <laughs> wait, 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 they're speaking facts. Maybe we should put some smoke alarms in. You know, that might help. I mean, it's free advice. Shame, 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 bad shame. vampire, shame. I mean, he has the coolest jacket of all of y'all. I heard a little rumor that the guest of honor this year might be me. Oh, congrats, Vlad. Poor Nick is not getting invited to the party. You can't go to the ball as Blade. He's a vampire hunter. Yeah, but vampires love Wesley Snipes, so it's, no, it's inappropriate. <laughs> I got that Blade reference. 10 out of 10. But if people are going as Wesley Snipes, like, I want to see the ones who are putting on body glitter and showing up as a Twilight vampire. <laughs> Me? I'd be showing up in the baseball uniform, body glitter all over. If you're gonna be a vampire, you might as well live for the camp of it all. You know what I mean? Hey, Turn look around at the and pants. look at just pants! Shit! Holy oh. shit! Oh, you look terrible. That's what happens when you spend all day on the internet. I'm a vampire. I'm know. a vampire. <laughs> Good for you, Jackie. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So, um, who bit you? Oh, Nick. We knew Nick was a true ally. Thank you. Is she the beast? Don't do this to us. The beast is uh, the name I give to my ex-girlfriend, Pauline. <laughs> You cannot put that in a movie. You cannot do that and expect me not to be thinking about Hunter and Bobby. She impaled me and called me an asshole. She said all kinds of things that really hurt me. So she impaled you. Isn't that like your thing? Wouldn't you be excited about that? I do love how every clip is just Taika having the time of his life. He's not a vampire, so he, what, he's zombie or... My own witch? He's not, he's not a, he's neither. He's, uh, he's more of a human. Uh-oh. See, there are some things, there are some things, you know, that we don't need to say out loud. You know what I mean? Like, we keep that one to ourselves. They could have just been like, he's a witch, and they probably would have bought it. Can I have your attention, please? She's just giving Helena Bonham Carter. I'm so sorry, she really is. Like, in an alternate universe, it's Helena Bonham Carter here. The invitation, it said, Plus one, Plus one, but it did not specify hey, if mate, it could look. be a human or well, if it could be a sucks. werewolf. He's really trying for the effect of communication. This is an asshole. This is open. human and this is the rules. And what this camera is doing here? One, then yes. another one. What is this? Yeah, wait, the documentary crew is human too. Go for them first over Stu. Oh, no, sorry. Don't go for any of them. I don't know why. <laughs> Will you exist in this universe for like an hour? Is this centuries of repressed rage? He hasn't used his torture chamber in years. An unholy masquerade for the ages. Nick and Jackie are probably feeling quite good about themselves for getting out of this situation. To kill a vampire! Oh! Hmm. What the f- oh, Stu! <laughs> Stu just saved his life. You know what, Stu, 10 out of 10 human being right there. It was great to see you, Pauline. Ah, so- Bastard. Can we talk about how the girl in the background was just wearing the Taylor Swift mirror ball dress the whole time? I love that for her. But it was more Stu with the giant stick. Uh, oh. This doesn't make it awkward for you. And it was more Stu and the giant stick. Yes, yeah, Stu the Impaler. Werewolves. Oh no. Oh, let them no. live. What the cat today oh. again, huh? Can't you just let them live? You know how big you get when you transform? That's the wrong tree for you. Y'all gotta find like an indoor place to be doing this. You know, perhaps not outdoors in the park where people might be asking some questions, like why is there a big wolf tied to a tree? You know, if you're in your own home, no one will be asking that question. Go your clothes off that you want to keep everyone. Get that army surplus jacket off, you've only just bought that, Nathan. With respect to their werewolf population, they're really leaving things to the last minute there. This is the group of kids that all of those posters in every classroom where it's like, lack of preparation on your part doesn't constitute an emergency on my part. Th that poster was made for this group of people. Y'all, this is too last minute. You know when the full moon is. It's on the calendar. Plan ahead. I'm shocked though. I really didn't think the budget was gonna bring in werewolves. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
They had protection against the vampires. The werewolves did not sign such a clause. This went from documentary to found footage horror movie real fast. Y'all are just gonna have to turn Stu first. What are the cops doing? Y'all not hearing this go down in the public park? Too late for him! Don't look at the blood, Nick! Stu! Poor Stu. Y'all should have just turned to him. Now you're gonna have a werewolf in your mix. Which is, you know, solidarity there. A little diversity. You need a werewolf in your vampire gang. Probably still a little upset having seen his best friend disemboweled by werewolves. Oh, he's dead. Why did I think Stu was gonna get turned? Oops. This was probably the way he wanted to go. Oh, I'm sure getting ripped apart by werewolves was 100% on his list. These attacks are becoming more and more frequent. They're happening on a monthly basis, and it's just, it's no good for anybody, okay? Yeah, you, you wanna know why? Because they, 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 they aren't tying themselves indoors. They're not trying that hard. Mick really learned the hard way. He's now gotten two people killed. It's kind of a rough time to be a beginning. Oh my. Goodness. He's really carrying this whole group on his back. He's drawn his best. Aww. I love how normal Stu looks. <laughs> That's so sad. I just know that this documentary crew, the camera guys, are not getting, like, washcloths. Ah! <gasps> Stu! Hey, Deacon. Stu! How's it? <laughs> Did you piece him Stu. back together? <laughs> Reenactment. And they had some, they likely meet some pants. That's very nice of them. Wait a second, I love that. Hopefully we won't, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I love this. He brought his friends here. Oh, they're just going to urinate on everything. That's a stereotype, buddy. I decided to bite her and we're gonna be together forever. You live your, your love story, buddy. You live your love story. <gasps> I can't. You could buy a bedazzler, so write that down. You could just buy a bedazzler. I feel like I'm who I'm really meant to be now. Good for you, Jackie. Okay, I love how they had to put the disclaimer in there. Any similarity to actual persons is purely coincidental. Okay, interesting. That's a little alarming, not gonna lie. You will not remember the last hour and a half of okay. what you have just seen. Right, I think you need Vlad to be doing this though. The contents of this movie. Oh wow, okay. What movie? You know, The Silence? Who are they? Don't know them. <laughs> well, that was fun. I feel like everything I have seen of Taika's, um, except for maybe Jojo Rabbit just feels like he got the gang together and he said, let's shoot a movie. Let's have some fun with this. And they're just gonna see what happens, you know? Where's the night gonna take them? They don't know. We don't know. But we're all along for the ride. Meanwhile, then Jojo Rabbit is just gonna kill us with a clip of shoes, you know? But it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I can see why people say that's a vampire classic because it is kind of just so funny to pitch a documentary style film, but with vampires. And I love, I love how they brought Stu in with the werewolves and they brought the two groups together. They're melding the two, they don't even need a Renesmee. Good for them. Anyways, I'm really glad I finally watched this. I hope you guys had some fun watching it with me. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want more movie and fan related content. And I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.